I think as we look at the future for two positive breast cancer, the biggest shift is going to be moving away from traditional chemotherapy. So that would look at approaches which may consist of either trastuzumab and lapatinib alone, trastuzumab, pertuzumab alone, or maybe TDM1 alone or in combination with pertuzumab. So which one of those is going to be the most um, uh, effective remains to be seen. But I think the data that we have seen in the metastatic se setting suggests that it's probably going to be a TDM1-based combination, either alone or in combination with, with either pertuzumab or maybe another anti-HER2 therapy. So if we could envision a future where we can give patients a total targeted approach and potentially forego chemotherapy, I think that would be a huge step forward for our patients with early stage breast cancer, envisioning a future where a woman who's been diagnosed with HER2 positive breast cancer does not lose her hair, there's no risk of infection, I think that'll be a huge achievement.